everybody, it's Luke. Um, today we're going to work on the back and we're going to do a workout from Muscle Farm. This is called uh, the Basic Back Killer. Now again, if, if you remember from um, other videos, I've done, I don't have a ton of equipment. So I like to either look for um, routines that I can do in my garage with a pull-up bar and dumbbells basically. Um, but that also looks like they're going to be hard. And a lot of times on paper, when you write it down, it doesn't look tough. This one looks tough. I'm a little scared. So um, I got my I'm drinking some Muscle Farm salt. Just finishing it off. Um, and we're going to start off with a superset of pull-ups to failure, and then three-way one-arm rows. more but the rafters tend to lose my grip. Okay now we got three one arm row. We're gonna row it regular. We're gonna row with our elbow out and we're gonna row it with our palm facing out. Oh, how many do we do each side? Seven reps each.
got super set of with our one arm rows. Seven each way. I know it's gonna be this hard. I didn't bring all my my 35s. So if I can't get them, I'll just do fewer reps because I'm not going back in the house. Now, if you have a bench, you can put your knee up on the bench, you know, and do your rows. I don't have one, so I just get a deep stance and rest my rest my elbow on my knee and you know do what I can do. Other side, seven. One thing I like about, um, you know, this is called a back workout, but whenever you involve pull-ups, um, you're working everything. You're doing your biceps, your tries, your shoulders, your back. You know, it hits everything. So it's one way to, you know, you can hit your biceps and you can hit your tries and build big arms with pull-ups and compound movements where it's not really isolation. So that's one reason why I like to do a lot of pull-ups in all these in all these routines is. It hits everything pretty well. It tones it all up. Okay. To failure, you're going for at least 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 12 again. Oh, of a row, supposed to be a super set, no break. Seven, seven each way. Oh, Four, I'm gonna drop it down to five. I got 55, so these are killing.
never done this one before. Working. Shake it out. It's hard. I'm out of breath. I'm not talking. So shake it out. Get ready for our next set. I'm shooting for at least 10. It's kind of my benchmark when I'm supersetting pull-ups in with other exercises. You do what you can do and work up. Go 10 to 12, hopefully. Oh, hopefully my grip holds up. Set. 
it. Oh man. Last set of my first circuit. I got two circuits left. Rows. circuits left. Five of each. Next, after a little break, we're going to superset chin-ups. So, palms facing you, and then seated rows. Now, I don't have a seated cable row, so I'm just going to do a, just kind of a bent over row with my dumbbells. That's what I got to do. So, Take a couple, another minute or so, shake it out, and we got max rep pull ups. I'm still going to be shooting for 10, but I'm already feeling the pain. Just go over to the to the cable machine and, and gear up for 12 cable rows. Otherwise, if you're at home, do what I'm gonna do. So up on your pull-up bar or your rafter, we're gonna shoot for at least 10. And you shoot for what you can shoot for. Here we go.
checking the time. Taking longer than I thought. It's already been 20 minutes. So I'm going to pick up the pace because I got to get done. I got some other stuff I got to do today. So here we go. Pick up the pace. Get the burn. Check our pace. That was good. That was about two minutes to set right there. That's all we want. It's kind of slacking off, I think. Getting used to that first one because I've never done this before. After, we got two sets up to this. Then we're moving into dumbbell pullovers and wide grip pull downs. But again, since I don't have cable, we're going to do wide grip. Pull-ups. More pull-ups. Gotta love them.
says, I didn't. This time I was in a rush, forgot. It's kicking in, baby. It's kicking in. I can feel it now. And we're about 25 minutes in, which is perfect timing for when you're supposed to start your workout. So that's right. Just moved this out of that. Just got an extra rep on there. Thought I was going to do an extra rep on the pull-ups. It's got to be that assault. I'm going to check the time. We should be about 26 minutes or so. Yeah, 26 and a half minutes. So one more of these. Then we'll burn through that second, second series in under 10 minutes, which is what we want. In a, in a workout like this, when we're not going heavy, we're going for reps, we're building lean muscle, we just want to burn it. Just burn it, burn it, burn it. Get that lean, long, lean, hard muscle. If you want to get the, the big bulk, go do some of Gabe's workouts. If you want to get lean, long, lean muscles and you don't want to go heavy or you can't because you don't have the right equipment, then we want to knock down the time in between sets get the burn going. So, here we go, last set of this series. Go for 10, maybe 11. shape like me so you don't get tired chasing kids around or chasing the girls around then just do what I'm gonna do here huh? on the floor with no bench and then after this if you have a lat pull machine you're gonna do wide grip pull downs 15 reps otherwise we're just gonna do wide grip pull ups um, as many as we can do so these are pullovers if you've never done pullovers I'm going to stand up here, sit here, hold the weight with two hands. We're going to bring it down and then bring it back up. Okay, if you're on a bench, you're going to be able to get that bigger extension. But if you're on the floor, you're going to stop when the weight barely taps the floor. Okay, so here we go. Oh, how many of these? 15 reps. Depending on the weight, I'll see how many I can get. I don't know. Something like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Keep it slow and control on the way down so you don't crash into your floor. Okay. Twelve. Thirteen. 14, 15. Also, if you're using dumbbells like me, make sure your hose clamps are tightened up so your weights don't slip off and crush your face open. Okay, super set down. 
wide grip pull-ups. I have no idea how many I'm going to get. Wide grip pull-ups are usually hard for me. So we're going to shoot for between 5 and 10, I'm thinking. Ish, and we are yep, 31, 31 and 45 seconds. So we should be able to accomplish the whole workout. We're gonna go for 40 minutes. That's pretty good for all these exercises we're doing. And we're doing, you know, we're doing 10, 30 sets of stuff. Sets left. It's got to be 90 degrees in here, too. So good stuff. Feels good. Oh my gosh. Oh. Alright. Hopefully we're at 36 minutes.
Yep. 36 minutes and two seconds. Perfect. Take a minute break. Hopefully finish these last two sets out strong. My wide front pull up so I'm pretty shot. straighten my ladder out. Okay. I'm going to not go all the way down this time. Keep a little bend in my arm, see if I can just crank out a few more to get a burn. Here we go. to the guys at Muscle Farm for keep feeding us with these awesome workouts. Holy cow. They, they do good stuff over there. Plus their president will tweet you back if you if you direct him on Twitter. Pretty cool. Here we go. One. That's it for me. Oh man. Okay. So the basic back pillar definitely a good workout. So give it a shot. If you're on the blog, I'll paste it up the sets below this video. If you're on YouTube, click onto our, the website and search for basic back killer to print it off. Um, 
Good stuff. So hopefully, watching this, you'll get a just an idea of how hard I was working, how to work out at home, how to work out in a garage, wherever you're at. You know, you can take anything and make it work. Just work hard and, you know. So anyway, hope you liked that one. Until next time, guys. Work hard.